Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Invader Zim haul. My collection has grown a lot more in the last few months. Um, about half of these items were gifts from my fiance and the rest that I got for myself. But anyway, let's just get started. So I moved everything out of the way for a second just to show what I'm using as my backdrop, which is two art prints. Um, this one is by Aaron Alkovich, one of the main artists for Invader Zim. I'm probably saying his last name wrong, but really cool. Um, he actually autographed it. I was able to meet him at New York Comic Con, I believe, 2019. Um, I don't remember the name of the artist for this one, but it, uh, he's a really cool guy. I'll try to find his Instagram or something and, and link him to give him credit because I can't remember his name right now, but I met him at a um, convention in Arizona, I believe. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with the hardcover books from Oni Press. There are three out right now, and I do have all three. I actually showed the second one off in another video, but since I have all three, I wanted to show it again just to show the whole set. So this is book one. This actually got a re-release, so I missed this. This initially came out as an exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con, and it did go on sale online on the Oni Press website after the convention, but I just completely missed it. It sold out, but they had a re-release of it this year, surprisingly, so I was finally able to get it, and it's still sealed. I haven't opened it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it like that, but I really love the cover. It has like this prism hologramic, holographic, whatever you call it, effect, and it's actually like, you know, it has texture to it a little bit, so that's really cool happy to finally that it actually got a re-release because the aftermarket price online on ebay was ridiculous uh so yeah and then here's book two like i said i've already showed it off but i'm just showing it again because it's there's only three out right now and this cover is actually like a fuzzy cover but it still have it and it's plastic as well and then book three which is really cool. It has Zem and Dib on it. And it you see their faces change as like the book moves. Which is a really cool effect. And here's the spine on this one. And then here's the back. Really cool. All three. These are all three hard covers that they have out right now. Really, really nice. Super cute. Next are these Bendems figures um, from Hot Topic. There's only just these two. You have Zem and Dib. And here's what Zem's looks like. So they're like posable. They're kind of like large, large size posable figures. They're pretty cool. I guess this is one, one of the newer series that they have for collectibles. No, newer collectibles for the series. <laughs> I said it kind of backwards. But yeah, Bendoms is what they're called. And here's Dib. Pretty good detailing to them. Really big heads, but the detailing looks pretty cool. Pretty accurate. The back is the same for both of them and these were available at Hot Topic. Also from Hot Topic is this Aquarius 500 piece puzzle. I got this offline. And, this is, and that's the picture that it makes. I'm pretty cool. Next is this Zim mug. It's one of those heat changing mugs. When you pour hot liquid in it, it changes. I got this from like um, some kind of like novelty store in Queens, New York. I don't remember the name of it, but it was just one of those places that I was passing by and um, stopped inside to look around and saw that they had this cup, which is pretty cool. And that's the image that it makes when it's heated up. I thought it was pretty cool that they actually had a Zim cup because they don't really have too much like just Zim 
stuff. Really nice black mug. All right, next I have three mystery box items. Um, apparently from what I learned about these items that I'm about to show, there was like a Invader Zem themed mystery box that was like a convention exclusive. And I believe it was a convention in Canada. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it was some convention and they had a mystery box that was completely all Invader Zem themed. So I got a couple items from that mystery box. I bought it offline. Um, someone was selling the items. So I don't have everything that came in the mystery box, but I have like the majority of the items. So first off is like this little lap towel or like a large face towel kind of thing and it just has Gurr's face on it and then the back is just all solid white a little bit of fuzzy stuff on it but yeah really cute little small towel and then it has the Nintendo tag right there I mean Nintendo Nickelodeon <laughs> Nickelodeon tag okay and then we have another cup here. Well, this is like a tall glass ceramic cup of Gur. They have a mug with this same design. The inside is the robot version of Gur, and then the outside is like the dog suit version. They have a mug that they sold a hot to at Hot Topic a couple years ago that was the same exact design, except it was more like like shiny, like a shiny coating to the outside of it. But still really cool to have a different version. Gur cup. And then this is just what the packaging looks like. And then next, in this box, They didn't put any of the supporting materials inside when they shipped this, um, but it arrived safely. It had paper inside, just not the actual like pieces that hold the cup into place. But this is a Zim head mug. <laughs> Very interesting piece. It's definitely like a really weird shape for a mug. Well, it's Zim's head, but to see it in mug form is, <laughs> is really weird. And it kind of has like this hand painted effect to it. It could be hand painted actually. I'm not 100% sure. But that's the. That's how it looks to me. Especially like around the eye area. It looks to be hand painted. But yeah pretty cool. Pretty cool mug. Like I said there's not too much like just Zim. Stuff like this. So. Really neat. And then here's what the box looks like. Oops. Well, that's the packaging for that. Right here we have three figures that were convention exclusives in 2018. So let's start with this one right here. Now these are like the e Eeks. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. Eek series figures. So we have Zem. And they're like these wooden figures that are also kind of like hand painted. Which are really cool. This was purchased online so they put a piece of styrofoam inside I guess to protect it during shipping. I just left it in there. And then here's what the packaging looks like. You can really see the detail. Really cool. And then this one is Gur, which he's a lot heavier, probably because the head. I don't know if these are real wood, um, but they definitely do have a little bit of weight to them. There's his packaging. 
These are all limited figures too. I don't know the number count for all of them, but they are limited, I believe. And then the last one, which is another Zim variant. And he looks really cool. They're all black. I think it looks really nice. And his packaging. But yeah, I think they're called the Eeks. Eeks! <laughs> Something like that. Okay, and the last three figures are also from the Foco Eeks line. Um, they're like variant versions of these three figures here, but these ones are also exclusive and really limited. So the first one here is the robot version of Gur, and it's like metallic, like a metallic paint, which is really cool. I really like these a lot. Yeah, 2019 exclusive. So these are really, really cool. And this is just what the packaging looks like. I really, really like Gurr's design and the detailing around the eyes. Looks really nice. And then next we have um, the, the metallic black version of Zem. And he's really limited, 60 pieces. This one I actually got recently. This was a gift from my fiance, but I already know um, that this must have been super hard for him to get. I didn't know he was looking for it, but I know I've seen it for myself and they're, they're really expensive. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, 60 pieces, you just think about it. That means only 60 people could own this figure, so really really cool and sweet of him to get this as a gift for me definitely was really surprising when he gave it to me so really really happy to now have a complete set so that's super cool and here's what the packaging looks like yeah and this piece is really really nice too i really love like the metallic black look on this one super cool and then lastly is the other variant but the metallic version of this one so really cool too really like the paint that they that they used for this and they come like this too with like the open pocket so yeah these ones the box is different, but there's no front plastic. That's just how these ones come. And packaging. So yeah, and then this one is limited to 300 pieces. So also a hard one to come by. To come by. But yeah, so that's the that's the line. So you have like a regular version and then like the variant version minus this one because it's the dog suit version of Gur. but anyway yeah so this is my updated zim haul um i do plan to do like a full invader zim shelf video once i get my bigger shelf and get everything set up looking nice then i'll do like a little overview of all the zim pieces that i have thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time